Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing something very, very special. Final Fantasy VII Remake, Intergrade, the Intermission DLC. Which is Yuffie's DLC for the PlayStation 5 version of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now, it did warn me when I jumped over into this. You can see that we can just jump between Main Story and the Intermission DLC by pushing L2 or R2. It did warn me when I jumped over here that there is no um, tutorial. So, it's been a while since we've played this game. That means that uh, it might take me a minute to get back into the swing of things, but uh, hopefully uh, things go pretty smoothly. Let's see how this goes, though. Um, we will be playing on normal. I'm wondering if it'll do the same thing, where we get access to heart after we beat it. Guess we'll find out. Wu Tai's Finest, Chapter 1. Okay. Well, guys, your girl finally made it to Midgar. Damn, I'm impressed. <laughs> I think these are those same warehouses that we uh, fought early on in the main game. At the time that we only had Tifa and Cloud. You got this, Yuffie. <clears throat> My name is Yuffie. Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Wutai government. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra headquarters and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with! Members of Avalanche! With your full support! We got this! So she's actually so looking for us. Of Avalanche? Where are you? Come get me already. Uh... Okay. If I was a man in a Moogle hat. Huh? <laughs> Wait, does this mean what I think it does? Interesting. So, I gotta come to you, do I? <laughs> You got some nerve. <laughs> Alright, she's clearly supposed to find somebody with a Moogle hat. And she thinks that's a clue. And it probably is not. <laughs> Alright, Yuffie. Okay, so, one of the things that we were going to look at here, real quick. So, in gameplay, well, let's see. Graphics, that's where it's going to be. So we have options between graphics and performance. So prioritize displaying graphics of 4K resolution or prioritize maintaining a 60 FPS frame rate. I think I'm actually gonna go for the frame rate one this time because I kind of suspect that probably there's gonna be times where we're still at 4K resolution. I don't know that for sure actually, but um, on the PS5 I wouldn't be surprised if we're at least close to it still. I'm guessing we'll probably float in maybe like a changeable dynamic resolution between 2K and 4K, but I don't know. And so I kind of want to see what it looks like with 60 FPS. So we're going to be trying that out. Okay, here we go. All right, 60 FPS. And let's really quickly. Okay, material and equipment. Let's see what we've got. Steel, totally makes sense. Deadly dodge. Um, I can't remember quite how that works. Attack command will do area damage immediately after dodging. Oh yeah, okay. No, I do remember that. We have cure and cure already. Okay. Assess. And parry. Guards against enemy attacks and allows you to quickly unleash your next move. Hold R1 and press circle to activate. Okay. 
All right, well, it's gonna take us a minute to get back into this, but we're gonna try it. R1 and circle to activate the parry. Definitely wanna try that out. Yuvi can fight effectively both up close and from range. Press square to strike a foe with her throwing star. Hold square to continue attacking while putting distance between her and the enemy. Precision defense, guarding just before an attack lands a hit, uh, lands a hit, will greatly reduce the damage Yuffie takes. Okay, cool. Hmm. Guess you're never far from a rat Let's see what you got. Oh, cool. So, uh, that was me holding back while I did that. So, yeah, that jump back is the one that, uh, offers you more space. We got ourselves poisoned. Okay. Once again, R2 is run. Just gotta remind myself to solve this stuff. By pressing triangle, Yuffie can hurl her weapon at a target. Press square while it is away from her to perform long-range ninjutsu attacks. That's cool. Press square while it is away from her to perform long-range ninjutsu attacks. The weapon will return to Yuffie automatically after a certain amount of time. To retrieve it sooner, press triangle again. Okay, circle is our dodge. Okay on health right now. By pressing triangle, Yuffie is capable of destroying Shinra boxes from a distance. Try destroying multiple boxes at once by giving Yuffie the perfect vantage point. <laughs> okay. Multiple at the same time, huh? Alright. Let's try it right here. Alright. I thought it was going to go through. Maybe if I had aimed at the ones behind... I think it was actually aimed at the ones in front. Gotcha. Nice. <laughs> All right, Ninja Girl, I like it. Make way for the amazing Yuffie. Okay, Art of War. Buffet an enemy with blows, and all subsequent attacks still increase damage. Okay, cool. Windstorm. Create a gust of wind that damages nearby enemies and launches them towards you. Fire Ninjutsu. The ability Elemental Ninjutsu changes the elemental affinity of Yuki's square attack while her weapon is away. 
Though it deals non-elemental damage at first, pressing left or right with the while the ability is selected will alter the affinity of the attack. Use elemental ninjutsu to exploit your enemy's weakness and pound them into submission. So it's a fire right now. Okay, I can just choose here. Oh, cool. All right. And that, that just changes whatever my throwing uh, shuriken turns into then. Okay, there's the windstorm. Here we go. Huh? Number 11. Huh? <sighs> no palm. <laughs> he said the thing. He said the thing. All right. Oh, well, I guess I'm not going anywhere until I get that elevator moving. Yuffie's weapon can be used to strike more than just crates. Try tossing it as ha uh, at hard-to-reach objects such as distant switches. Okay, here's another poster. Maybe there was something to the poster. <laughs> so is there materia in that left arm there? No, I don't think so. It's gotta be on our shuriken. Got no time for small props. Am I supposed to do something? Okay, so it's um hitting a weakness when I do that. Does that mean that whatever I switch this to, it changes to all the time, or do I have to activate this? Like if I change that to lightning right now. Where are you, buddy? Okay, next time we run into them, we will uh, actually look at their known weakness to, s to see what we're doing there. Okay. Yep, I think this is where I'm supposed to go. Okay, there's Talk more to this about area. Advertising. City of Mako? <laughs> City of garbage, more like. I think going under there is probably my way forward, so uh, we're gonna head this direction first.
This does look very nice, I gotta say. Ooh, ooh. The whole thing is getting materia. An orb of HP up materia. Oh wow, I've got a lot more materia than I thought I did too. I should have checked that too, huh? Okay, HP up. And let's see. So we've got some elemental. Subversion, use breach and dispel. Okay, resistance to instant death. Activate synergy, which um, I can't quite remember at this time. I might have to look that up again to remember what synergy does for us. Oh, it says up here. Let's, let's read. Allows an ally to follow the leader's attack command with an attack from linked materia. Cool. Yep. Okay. Steadfast block takes take less damage. Plus medium ATB boost when guarding. Okay. Okay. Our battle intel, enemy intel. Like I wonder if this is going to be a thing that we should uh, we should probably be analyzing people or assessing again. Um, that was kind of a big thing in the original, so maybe that's something we want to be doing here as well. Wonder if that kid will show up for us too. I also don't know how long this uh, DLC is. I know it's, uh, what, two chapters, so... I'm not expecting more than, like, a couple of hours, really. Maybe four hours at most. But who knows, maybe it's a little meatier than that. Okay, power wrist guards. So, ninja armlet. Doubles the amount of AP earned for all materia set to this armor. So only to the ones that are set to the armlet itself. Power wrist guards, strength by 5%. Let's take it. A switch. How do you switch? Swap. There we go. Yeah, let's get Cure to be uh, getting that extra AP for sure. These hooded guys are like surrounded. Huh? I gotta do something. Oh, you'll do the trick. Come on down. other side. Can I get to that from here? No, it looks like I'm going to have to get down there. Most likely. Yeah, I think I have to go to the other fight first. Nice. <laughs> I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. Oh, whoops. Whoops. 
<laughs> Did the wrong order. I tried to do the jump back, but I had thrown my shuriken first. I also keep trying to dodge with the same button that you use on Persona 5 Strikers because I've been playing that a lot. Just got the platinum in that game. trying to cure Try this art of war. That should increase all of my attacks. Nice. I think I got the uh, perfect dodge there for the perfect parry. Fear Yuffie's here. Alright, let's go and get this uh, materia. Okay, that's gonna be our way back down. Cool. I'm gonna slowly get back into the swing of this battle system. Wind materia, very nice. I wonder if I should give her a... Yeah, I was never good at actually using this parry properly. I'm good at the regular parry where you just push R... Well, I'm not good at it, but <laughs> better at it. I never remember to do this circle parry. Um... So I think I might get rid of this to start working on some kind of magic. Let's start with wind. Maybe fire's more, you know, so many, so many enemies are weak to fire. And then, yeah, we've got to figure out properly how to use that shuriken ability. Hey, how you doing there, buddy? Yeah, I know. I know. I've been there. I've been there. Don't worry. The hangover goes away after a while, okay? Need some Excedrin. Drink a lot of water. Okay, this might actually be the proper way. Yeah, there's another guy down there too. So many robed figures in this area. What part of the game are we jumping into? Like, are Cloud and like Sephiroth, are all of them in Shinra Tower? The first robed guy was looking towards the center beam, which leads me to believe that maybe it's um, when they're all in the tower, because they'd be looking towards and walking towards the tower, right? God, that's awesome. Just gotta take a look. Just gotta take a look around, you know? Certain a little, but sorry, right, who's that? Nice beard, bro. I like the beard. Uh oh. I thought that, that was just an interaction. I wanted to check the other direction. This is too weird. Okay, 
You got this. Shit, I should have gone the other direction. Okay, it's not, it's not gonna. Good. <laughs> okay, this looked like it might have been a path, but it clearly is not. We're fine. Okay, so I guess this was actually a sign for her. I thought she was just reading into it and that it was going to be a joke that she ended up there anyways. Hey, we're in the scrap area. Okay, those are broken. <laughs> huh, okay. That rotten neck smell's gone. Must have gotten used to it. <laughs> the way things are going, I'll be working for Shinra next. Nice try, Midgar. <sighs> I'm talking to myself. The city's getting to me. Ha! Huh. I was about to ask, is there going to be a, an... I think it was ice materia here, but clearly this is not ice materia. You obtain an orb of MP up. Kind of want all of those right now. Okay. That's going to be the way out. Back into town. We're going to be in the uh, Sector 7 slums once we go through there. Will we run into our friends? I don't know. We know that uh, she never did find Avalanche. Um, so... place just circles around. Basically makes one complete circuit. With that one center path, so I'm just going to make sure that we get everything here. And then we will uh, go into Sector 7 and see what's up. Okay. It's funny how quickly the layout of this area came but comes back to me. <laughs> Side quest over here. Doesn't look like we can go that way right now. Okay. Wait, did you just come from sure did. monster troubles or <laughs> monsters have been acting strange since the bombings. Don't go letting your guard down, okay? Okay, bombings, plural. Not we probably the two have already happened. Local Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down, and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control, and the people of our first city need not worry about any additional complications. We are in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. Oh, 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 what do we have here? <laughs> Man, that's gotta be Avalanche. Not bad. Not bad at all, but I can do better. Yuffie? <laughs> Yo. What? There's our palm. So, you're Avalanche? I'm Zija. Follow me. What? Zija. Wait up! Okay. Oh, geez, yeah. Why didn't you come meet me before? I figured an elite W agent could find their own way. I may be elite, but it's not like I've ever been to Midgar. What exactly is a W anyway? Who Anyone died? who lives where you just came from, think of it as a code name. Uh -huh. Still can't believe they sent a kid to do this job. Look who it is. This kid could it's Jesse Biggs and Wedge. Saying you're a fresh face is all. Oh, don't worry. I know exactly what you're saying. Give me a break, will ya? And let you walk all over me? Well, here we are. Ladies first. So the Sector 5 bombing just happened. I can almost taste your pizza now, Jesse. Shame, since you won't be getting any. What? 
<laughs> uh, can we be friends? I love you guys. <laughs> We're remodeling the place. Been living here a while, but that doesn't mean it has to look like How did they make Jesse such an unbelievable waifu in this game? How'd they do that? All right. By the way, I have a full playthrough of the original on my channel, so if you uh, want to go and watch that, you absolutely can. And you should, because it's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, go and check that out. I do have a full playthrough of the um, base game. Played on PS4 Pro in 4K. So these guys are saying they're Avalanche, and they clearly are not. Um, I wonder what's going on here. I'm going to do a quick save. It looks like they use a separate save slot system for the uh, um, for the DLC. That's probably good. Keep them separate. These two are Billy Bob and Polk. And that's Nio. Hi. My name is Yuki, Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the New Wutai Government. You know, I'm I impressed. I have orders to infiltrate Shinra HQ and steal their ultimate materia. To prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with. Members of Avalanche, with your full support, we got this. <laughs> Ready to rumble, huh? You better believe it. So, did you guys meet Sonan yet? He was supposed to be here. Yeah, he got in three days ago. He's out on the town as we speak. <laughs> really seems to be enjoying it here. Oh, he does, does he? <laughs> you, uh, got any bags? As if. Ninjas always travel light. It's like a rule. Huh? Uh, uh. But I did bring these. Wu Tai's famous da chow beans. Eat up. And here you go. Uh, huh. hmm. Are those basically cocoa beans? The equivalent to Coco. Can you eat these things? <laughs> Guess you do. Sheesh, you ninjas are insane. <laughs> do me a favor, Yuffie, and wait here for Sonon. I gotta head out. Your ID should be ready for pickup by now. Then why don't I join ya? Nah, I got this. Besides, you reek of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. <Huh? laughs> she took it literally. <laughs> Who are you people? You must be tired from your trip. Mayo. Why don't you get some rest? With all the noise in this city? I'm freaking possible. How about you tell me where in the Shinra building they're keeping that materia instead? Don't hold out on me now. I know you know. Actually, I kind of don't. At least, not an exact location. All I know is that Shinra, for most purposes, treats materia as a weapon. Which means the Advanced Weaponry Division probably deals with it. And since that's in the basement... I see. So... Shinra hides its top secret materia in the basement. <laughs> you won't have to wait much longer, my precious. I promise. Oh my god. Just be careful, will you? Please? She even oh, said yeah. my precious. You should introduce yourself to Billy Bob. He knows a thing or two about the Shinra building. I really dig, like, getting to see a different side of this, like, Wutai Shinra sort of, uh, conflict. You're Billy Bob, right? <sighs> My teeth. You're welcome. So the material I'm looking for is in the Shinra building, right? And where is that exactly? <laughs> Ignorance truly is bliss, huh? What did you just say? Oh, <laughs> didn't mean to offend you. Of course, you probably knew this already, but there's a whole other city built on the plate above us. Shinra building's right in the middle. You can't miss it. Oh, that one! Why didn't you say so? Now, 
If you want to get topside, you first got to get out of the slums. And for help with that, you should talk to Polk. Okay. You look kind of nervous. I just want to make sure I have the plan down pat. You know, like how to get up top and all that. Huh. Well, if you had an ID, you'd normally just take the train up there. But with all the commotion going on, that's not really an option. Security's on high alert. If you ask me, your best bet is to sit tight and wait for things to settle down some. Sit tight? But I want to go now! Yeah, you can't sit tight, you Yuffie. guess then. Go get killed. Uh, harsh. For real, though. Yeah, so... We're not that far off from the plate coming down. We're not that far off from that. So if Sector 5 just went down, basically the... They're going to be trying to make their way back to us, right? Is that how that worked? I'm trying to remember the full timeline of how that goes, but I'm pretty sure that, yeah, they're going to be making their way back through the... Yeah, through the graveyard and whatnot, trying to escape, and... Then when they make it back, that's when things go shit. <laughs> Did we just get a new weapon? So we've got the four-point shuriken. And the boomerang. Okay, we do get another slot. So this one's the magic one, it looks like. Has a better magic stat than uh, physical. Not by too much. There's not... It's, it's a pretty big magic buff with not too bad of a physical debuff. So... Yeah, evade an attack, so we get Brumal Form. So, Elemental Ninjutsu, we should probably start working on that, because we want to master that before we uh, switch, I think. So yeah, let's start working on that. Um, we'll have to start using Elemental Ninjutsu. Basically every chance we get until we uh, get that proficiency up to 100%. Um, okay, proficiency bonus, exploit an enemy's weakness with an Elemental Ninjutsu attack. Um, evade an enemy attack. Evade an attack. ATB increases when successful. Can use while airborne. Cool. Alright. Yeah, I should have looked at which ability we needed to uh, get our proficiency with. Someone's still not back? Must be in Walmart then. Oh, are we heading What's to Walmart? Wal Let's just say it's a place for people with mature tastes. <laughs> mature tastes. There's lots of different establishments. It's kind of hard to explain. No, I think I get it. Like bars filled with smoke so thick you can't even see. And drinks so bitter you want to spit them right back out. And brothels. Um, where everyone gets drunk and complains about how kids just don't understand the value of hard work. <laughs> They'll be the death of society. Ugh, how can they not see that they're the ones destroying it? <laughs> Blue Tie's got a place like that, where grown-ups drink their lives away. <laughs> I know that bar. It's called the Happy Turtle. <laughs> yep. Interesting. There's a Happy Turtle in Midgar as well. Huh? I don't know if it had I a name in the original, exactly but I remember that bar. I've never actually been, but I do see their flyers from time to time. You do, huh? Oh, they're taking down Midgar one citizen at a time. <laughs> I salute you, Happy Turtle. Come to think of it, there's a man who goes around putting up flyers for the bar. People call him Old Snapper, and he doesn't dress like your average Midgar male. Old Snapper. Might be from Wutai. I gotta find him. Man deserves some Dachau beans. Okay. So we're now looking for the old snapper, I guess, right? Is that our goal? Hey, you gonna be okay out there? Got all the info you need? If I talk to them again, I wonder if they'll tell me more about old snapper. Let's see real quick. You know about the VR combat simulation module, right? Huh? Uh, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? It's that thing that stimulates modulation. Nailed it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kinda. She nailed it's it. It's a machine that puts you in a virtual world where you can practice fighting all you want. There's even a portable version of it. The guy around the corner has one. Uh-huh. Hardly ever see technology that cutting edge down here. 
So what do you say? Want to try it? I really don't have time to be playing around with some stimulator. But <laughs> just to be polite, I guess I'll take it for a spin. Oh, girl. <laughs> the guy's name is Chadley. He's over by the neighborhood watch. All right. Yeah, Chadley's like back in. Training, I'm sure he'd be happy to help. That freaking name, though. Chadley. Why is his name Chadley? Look about ready to die of boredom. Want to play Fort Condor? Fort Condor? <laughs> I should have known. It hasn't been out long, so there's no way you W's would have heard of it. Uh, yes I have. And what's more, I'm awesome at it. I'll whoop you so hard you'll wonder if you ever knew the rules. For my benefit, then. Let me go over them. Oh, are you kidding me? They're giving us the Fort Condor game here? Oh, dude. Okay, so the Fort Condor game is something that you do later on in Final Fantasy VII, the original. And it was okay in that game. It was kind of fun, but you just kind of did it. Um, interesting. Okay. Fort Condor is a board game where you employ units and materia to destroy your opponent's headquarters. Before play begins, let's select a loadout. Okay. L2 to select a board. We only have a starter board. Um, we cannot edit our loadout, which is triangle. Um, let's see. So starter board. Starting ATB. ATB 8. We have a set of speed. Materia looks like we have fire and healing. I'm guessing that's what those icons are. Outpost headquarters. Security officer. Guard dog. Slug ray. Grenadier. Riot trooper. And blast ray. Um, there isn't two pages. You see that there's an R1 and an L1, but it doesn't go anywhere because there's only one out of one page. Okay, let's just see how we how we do. When the game begins, both you and your opponent will each have three bases, a headquarters and two outposts. Yeah, this is definitely very different from the mini game that was in Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> to win the match, you must either destroy your opponent's headquarters or have more bases left standing when the timer runs out. Units will automatically march forward and engage enemies once they have been deployed. Move the cursor to the spot you wish to deploy a unit and then press X to begin selecting the unit you want. To change the drop location, press cancel and reselect. Why isn't he attacking him? Yo, Slug Ray, you gonna do something? Okay, so he clearly attacked there. Good. For a second there, I was like, he's not doing anything. Alright. So as that ATB just automatically goes up, you can choose different units that cost different ATB costs. I'm starting to get this. Let's see if we can come back from this. Yeah, so that guy's range, so putting him there might help. Um, he can kind of just shoot in whatever direction. He doesn't seem to be moving very much, but mm, we'll have to see if they move. No, he moves. Okay. Mm. Also, our line is being moved up. I think I can actually start moving forward with it. Um. Yeah. So as we gain ground, we can start putting people further up. This guy looks like he's going to be good. Slug Ray, get him. Okay, the two outposts on the side are almost done. Yeah, that 
guy's getting ganged up on. Left. Yeah, let's stop this guy in the tracks. Uh, riot troopers seem to be pretty good. Like, they're beefy. Oh, damn. He got wrecked. Good. So the ranged guys are not very strong. Um, so I should be a little bit more careful with them. They're not really good against uh, the bases. The bases can take them out pretty good. Oh, we got it. That was pretty fun. I'm not going to lie. I kind of enjoyed that. Looks like we're getting new pieces. New units, possibly. Guess we'll have to find Damn, out. Damn, Yuffie, how'd you do that? You totally kicked my ass. You mean, you didn't lose on purpose? Wow. <laughs> well, if you're looking for a challenge, the Undercity's got no shortage of serious players. I've kind of got better things to do. Sure about that? Where it is, if you beat the Grandmaster, you can win some serious cash. Materia, too. Materia? That's right. But you should know, the hardcore competitors won't give you the time of day till you've proven yourself. Whatever. Bring it on! I'm not gonna lie, I enjoyed that. All this talking is giving me a headache. So we got a I'm sorcerer go board some and something else that I missed. I won't stop you. Just don't go too far, okay? Very cool. All right. Yeesh. Those the chow beans are really something else. I think I broke a tooth. Getting here must have been quite a journey. All right. Very cool. Time to head to our next goal. So how, who can we fight with those uh, things? Is it just him or are there gonna be a bunch of other people in the world that we can interact with and do that? I don't think I needed to do that, but hey. Oh, right. Let's see here. On the map screen, you can check your current scenario objective and view the lay of the land. Okay. Avalanche's base. Sure, if you say so. <laughs> Sector 7 slums. Being warehouse outskirts. Okay. In the slums. So are these those games? Question marks. Scout out Sector 7. So we have these icons, which might be the Condor games. And we have our main goals. Happy Envoy. Talk to Chadley, who can be found near the Neighborhood Watch's headquarters. Yep, we saw him on the way in. Find Old Snapper, a man who goes around town posting flyers for the Happy Turtle. Okay. Those are our two main objectives right now. And, uh, yeah, we're going to end up doing those in the next episode because uh, I need to end this one a little bit early uh, because 4K, for me, takes a long time to process on YouTube side. Uh, since I'm a smaller channel, they don't prioritize, uh, you know, my uh, video renders. Therefore, sometimes it can take up to 24 hours for it to render 4K video. So I'm going to end this one a little bit earlier than I would just so that I can edit this, get it up, and get it rendering as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, thank you all for being here. If you want to watch my original playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Remake, that will be linked in the description down below. Go and check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help my channel out. Um, I'm a small channel. I'm still growing. So anything you can do to help me out there is going to be very, very, I'm going to be very grateful for it. So once again, thank you all and have a good day. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York and ZTD. If you also would like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below. Thank you.